set sail. Even then, the Speedwell continued to take on water, forcing them to stop in Dartmouth for repairs. They set sail again and were actually several hundred miles into the Atlantic when Reynolds reported that the Speedwell was once more taking on water faster than it could be pumped out. The ships returned to England, this time to Plymouth, where the Speedwell was thoroughly examined and no serious fault found. Even so, it was decided that the journey would continue without her. For various reasons, only 102 passengers of the original 120 continued on the Mayflower from Plymouth. There was a suspicion that Reynolds, the Speedwell's master, was deliberately causing the ship to leak as he no longer wished to go to America. So, the Mayflower continued across the Atlantic to America.